paint like a clear coat what I have for copper gold and silver right now is enamel so I'm gonna have to order a lacquer for the next figure really don't recommend the enamel but for these light details and that light dry brushing I really think I'm gonna get away with it on this one but I found what that the lacquer does a little better alright so I got I'm gonna use my small brush this is light dry brushing but I'm gonna do it slightly heavy actually I'm gonna take some of that off like I wiped the tip of the brush for dry brushing right here I just want to pick up the very edges where that dry brush silver is I may have wiped too much off Go ahead and do that heavy. Mm. Starting to get a little copper penny look there. So by me barely touching the highlighted edges, we still have some black down in the crevices there, giving us that realistic look. And that's where your good looking figures come in, is just having some depth to them. Some nice fine lines. So there we go. We can do that. You can do that all over the figure, however you want to do it. Whatever colors, shades. Maybe down here on the edges right there, I can do gold. It would really stand out. And you have three different contrasting metal tones in there. Mm, it looks like we have some little springs right here. So I'm going to go look at a picture, pull up some pictures of Bumblebee and kind of refresh my memory of what all colors are supposed to be in there. So I'll make sure to do that before the next video. But that catches us up a little bit and let me keep going. So we may go into at least a second video right now. because I'll make sure to end it here in just a few before the third video from now <clears throat> and that one will have the wet sanding and maybe some clear coat clear coating this these pieces here hopefully that we're catching up on so I cleaned that since it was enamel I cleaned it in some lacquer thinner and then I cleaned the brush in some water Try to get the lacquer thinner off the brush for next time I use it. Now we're using the acrylic, Auto Masters acrylic white, flat white, to go over that gray area. I'm going to use a little wider brush, and longer bristles. Hopefully, we can lay some nice coats of white down here. Okay, let me go on film again. And I want to leave the back side of that black. I want a nice crisp yellow edge right there 
So if I get color on the back of that, I can always go back with some black and kind of do a wash in here at the end and clean up the edges. Let's get this gray area white. First couple coats of white will look horrible. Let's try to get it on there fast and even as possible. Dry it up that quick. So the acrylic can seem acrylic seem like it's eh, a little iffy at first. Once you get a few coats on there. heavy and I'm going to start getting streaks from my brush if I'm not careful. I may want to use an even wider brush for the next couple coats. So that's coat one. It's probably going to take a good three maybe even four coats like that. The next one sh should go on easier especially if we use a wider brush. But I'm going to let that dry for a while. Right. Clean my brush. And that was the only thing we were doing white right now. And I try to save up pieces that I'm doing the same colors. And do them all at once. The first coats and then by the time I get done with all those pieces I can make the round again. On the second coats and third. And... I know I want some color here, so I do have a, I do have some more white to do, or actually gray first. That looks like the disc breaks, and obviously a caliber. And we have some here too. We've done the caliber red. I guess I need to do the same thing here. I'm going to bring that up to the gray, the white, and then red. Because red, just like the yellow, will show up maroon if you do it over dark. And even if I go over the sil silver, it will come out a weird shade. down in here do it just like the panel lining we did here I think that catches us up for this video so may hopefully we're still on the same video if it's went to part two I apologize if it's really short but it catches us up let me get these few parts caught up to this leg and then we can really get going on the very next video. We'll do the wet sanding, the last clear coats and can start assembling this thing and bring the model car back into it. Wet sand and get that one ready for the final clear coat. So that'll be a good one. It'll be a really good video. And bear with me because I've been staying very busy with life. And this is my personal time stuff, which I don't really have much time for lately. But I'm working really hard so I can make some more time here for the near future. Thanks for watching these series so far. If this is not your cup of tea and you watched anyways, I really do appreciate it. And I promise I will have more material in the future too. God bless y'all and have a good night. Thank you for watching.